Hey, a pleasant good evening everyone. Gotta be more quiet for this one since folks are sleeping in my house. But this is gonna be the NHL game reaction for the Kings versus Colorado Avalanche that became a very, very good and even game. Uh, 24 to 25, the shots where the Kings had more shot attempts actually as well. But the Avs obviously are the more star studded, star power team. They're one of the elite teams of the league, one of the best teams in the league. By far none. Uh, they were able to score a nice goal in front, which is a sad a Brandon Sadat's goal that he was able to battle in front, fend off the Kings player, and be able to still score the goal. And then with their second goal before before that, they had a very bad call for an interference on Jeff Carter, where Nazim Kadri had the puck, tipped it away, and Carter hit him basically at the same exact time, or like a split second later, which is still not an interference. So that was a very, very odd and awful call, but um, they were able to have a nice PK there, and then the cross-check on Dustin Brown is probably technically a cross-check, but usually when a player clears the puck in and starts kind of teetering downward himself, they don't call that, so that was debatable, but Todd McClellan did say after the game, he thought personally every other penalty was a penalty, and the quarter one was the only one questionable, so I think we'll just roll with that. Um... But the big one-time blast from Taze on a nice backhand uh, pass from Gerard that was able to get in on, when you're looking at it this way, the left side or the right side of the goaltender as he was standing, uh, was a very nice shot by Devon Taze. Uh, he's a guy that is very capable of doing that and a very good guy at his own end as well. He was a money pickup for the Colorado Avalanche. Being able to bring him in was huge to add to a defense that didn't even really need anybody else on the defense because they were already loaded. So being able to add another young gun in there, um, he's not an older defenseman either, was great for them. And then, of course, there was a one-time blast by Ratanen on a nice cross-ice backhanded feed by Nathan McKinnon, the Hart Trophy candidate, a guy that I think has one of the best chances to win it this year. That was a very nice backhanded pass by Nathan McKinnon, a very, very good one. And, um... And then uh, later in the game, there was for Andre Santitasio. He scored a goal in his third straight count him, third straight game in L.A. And that's huge for the Kings to be able to have the depth. They also shouted out when I was watching post game, and I fully agree. Elias Anderson looked good on the ice. Trevor Moore was able to move up. Tom McClellan said he's been skating very well lately. That's why he moved him up. Carl Grunstrom looked good in his first game. And Mikey Anderson and Matt Roy are looking really good out there. So it's not all bare for the Kings. They lost every game by one. And in the other games were 3-1. to one, They were up, and they blew the lead. And a lot of that had to do with penalties like Tom McClellan had. They just got to become a little bit more disciplined and concise. They played a very good 5-on-5 five five game tonight, the best of the season thus far. So this is definitely something to build on for the Kings. And definitely something to go off of. Andre Santosio was able to get his third goal in three games. And the Kings were able to finally get puck luck on their own on the shot by Kopitar. Uh, that ended up bouncing to Adrian Kempe. So they finally got some puck luck of their own. Uh, when they uh, haven't been able to get that. And very unfortunately did not get that in any of the games against Minnesota. With like the bouncing puck to Felino, so on and so forth. The Kipper saw off. So the Kings definitely have stuff to build on with what they were able to do in this game. They definitely saw improved play. They've been playing and battling with every team this season, and they have just been losing games. you just got to be able to grow and build on that. Pedersen had a pretty good first game. Actually, a really solid first game, honestly. Um, the goals that were scored, he really didn't have much of a chance to save at all. So he had a very solid first showing, uh, and you got to build on that. And Quick didn't do bad in the first two games either. The the defense kind of left him out to dry in a couple plays. And then again, puck luck was terrible. A lot of fortunate bounces for the Minnesota Wild. So the Kings have a lot to build on. But the Colorado Avalanche came in and played a very good game. Grubauer played a good game. Obviously, uh, guys like Mika Rodden and Brandon Saad. Uh, Colvert also played a solid game, getting an assist, uh, flying around the ice like he's uh, capable of doing and really paid to do like that quick skating player that can chip in a little bit on the offensive end as he did tonight with the assist. And then, again, Tays and Gerard teaming up there, two very good defensemen for them for years to come, uh, being able to team up there. So that was huge. And then McKinnon and then Landis Cog got the other assist. There's three key stars. Uh, that Nathan McKinnon line has been absolutely ridiculous this year, um, has been torching it, so they were able to get a goal there. 
But this has been the reaction to the LA Kings versus the Colorado Avalanche. This ended up being a fantastic hockey game to round out the night. This has been our reaction to Tuesday, January 19th, LA King versus Colorado Avalanche game. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Boric. Please like, comment, and subscribe, everybody. And enjoy the hockey and the rest of the games tomorrow and also the three stars of the night. I forgot to do so. Miko Radinen obviously is one of those. Another guy I'm going to have to give it to because he scored his third goal in third games, even in a losing effort. Who would be the third star is Ante Tecio. And then the second star, I think, would just go just because of how much he was able to have two assists in this game. And one was just a money assist. I'll give it to Nathan McKinnon. He had an assist on the side goal. And he obviously had an absolutely ridiculous cross ice pass from the other side on the backhand to Mika Rodden. So I'll give it to McKinnon. Sorry about that. Forgot to give the stars there almost. But please like, comment, and subscribe. Everybody have a great, safe, and pleasant night. This has been the Kings and Avahams Look Ahead. I'm Joe Borick from Sports Fanatic News and SteelFlyers.com. Peace out, everybody.